So it's a, it's a really interesting story that we had a very challenging customer in China. And in China, it's very hard to get good weather conditions. It's often overcast and, and cloudy. And the problem they had was extracting buildings when there was deep shadows. So we really brainstormed this as to how we could do better. And the idea we came up with was if we add a LiDAR system to our imaging system, you know a LiDAR is active, it can see into the shadows. If we bring these two technologies together, it's an elegant way to solve the problem. So that's, that's how the first city mapper came to be, was really to solve this customer challenge. So the City Mapper 2, it's kind of the next generation of the original, where it's 40% more efficient, much higher resolution imaging, so you can fly a lot less um, to collect the same area, or you can fly at a much higher resolution if you want. You also have the benefit of better low light performance, so the flight conditions are wider, and you can also fly much faster. So it's all about efficiency. It's all about collecting more data quickly. So in the past, what would happen is a lot of customers would have to decide if they wanted to fly imaging or LiDAR because of the high cost, right? And with the City Mapper because, and the City Mapper 2, because we combine into one instrument, they don't have to choose. They fly once, they get both product streams, and so it's, it's a much cheaper way, much more efficient way. And then they also unlock the potential of having both data sets collected at the same time to do some very, very interesting um, analytics that they couldn't do before. The biggest challenge right now for urban mapping where the City Mapper 2 is used is there's a lot of air, um, airspace restrictions. You know, we live in a, in a complex world now, and so a lot of cities like Moscow, you have to fly three kilometers or higher. You cannot go lower than this. So the City Mapper 2 allows you to fly at these altitudes and still get very high resolution data so that you can do the project. So the, the one here that was really unique and was a real challenge for the team was to still get the very high speed performance. We had to come up with a mechanical forward motion compensation for the imager, and this was a, a challenge. But what's interesting is, you know, we had in our company history 20 years ago, we did this with film. So we applied some of those same concepts to digital, and that's how we got the City Mapper 2. Fantastic performance.